the shocking video that shows how chimps deal with a tyrant, ex-leader who tried to make a comeback is held down, tortured and eaten. Chimpanzee named Fauduco was beaten, killed, and partially eaten by group. While they're known to kill members of other tribes, internal killings are rare. Researchers say it may be the result of heightened sexual competition. First they heard the loud screams coming from a nearby sleep nest early one morning, then at dawn. Scientists at the Fongali Chimpanzee study site discovered a horrific scene. The gruesome remains of a West African chimpanzee named Fauduco were found still bleeding hours after his death, with evidence that he had been beaten, killed, and partially cannibalized by members of his own community. While chimpanzees are known to kill rivals from other tribes, intragroup murders such as this are extremely rare, with just nine cases on record to date. Researchers say the unusual ratio of adult males to females in this particular group may have given rise to the grisly encounter, as competition to reproduce intensified. There were attacks by multiple chimpanzees on his dead body, most frequently by a young adult male and an older female, the authors wrote. The latter also cannibalized the body. Stomach churning footage of the aftermath shows the group biting and aggressively pulling at the body. Fauduco's body was found bleeding profusely from a bite to his right foot, with a large gash on his back, a ripped anus, cracked ribs, and finger wounds from the attacker's teeth as they clamped down to stretch his arms and hold him down, according to new scientist. The researchers suspect he died of internal injuries, or bled out from his wounded foot. And, they say he was beaten with rocks and sticks long after he died, as the chimpanzees continued on to break his limbs and even ate some of his flesh. It was striking, Jill Pruitt of Iowa State University, who has been studying the group since 2001, told New Scientist. The female that cannibalized the body the most, she's the mother of the top two high-ranking males. Her sons were the only ones that really didn't attack the body aggressively.